What's going on, you guys? Like, what you got to the channel? It's your boy Big Dog back with another one take review. Today, we got a movie review, man, for Marriage Story. Written and directed by Noah Bumbach. Bumbach? Bumbach? One of the two. Either way, it goes to our Scarlett Johansson as, uh, as Scarlett Johansson and Adam Driver as Charlie and Nicole. Uh, this couple who were married and then they going through the process of getting divorced and they both have a kid named and they have a they share a kid named Henry. Let me tell y'all this right now. Before you judge me this review, hear me all the way out, okay? Hear me all the way out with the stuff I have to say and then pass judgment on. If you don't want to hear it, you just dip out before, cool. But also I'm gonna probably use some profanity. That's probably the best way I can probably, I'm not going to try to articulate my words. I'm just going to say them flat out. Now, without any further ado, let's just talk about this movie. And first thing I have to say about this movie is fuck this movie, man. Man, I was supposed to feel what I felt when I was watching this movie. I ain't never been married. I ain't got no kids. I don't plan on getting married. I don't plan on having kids. One reason, probably this movie is probably the best way to show you why it's a horrible idea. Everybody thinks it's this great thing. No, it is a terrible, stupid thing for anybody to do. It's just my opinion. That's just me. I can sound like a bitter singer guy, but cool. But it's just how that's been my belief for the past, I don't know how many years. It's just how, what I think. But this movie is pretty much shows you like exactly what happens when you get married and then the marriage doesn't work. It starts shows you like all the high points of a marriage and shows you the low points. It shows you what happened when you two separate. It shows you what all the things that come out once you're going through the divorce process. This movie is listen. It's a tragic movie, but not not in the sense of like tragic as in a death. It's just tragic because once you watch them, you just kind of like, oh my God, what is going on? And it gets some, it gets some, listen, you have Scarlett Johansson and Adam Driver, two fantastic actors. So then they get to going at it and stuff, and you get the, the, the scenes where they get to going back and forth, and they really like spreading out things they think about each other, even though they might get caught up in the moment. That shit just feels too freaking real. Granted, why would I feel? Listen, I can only imagine what somebody who's actually been through a divorce feels about this, or what some what what a, a, a person, a kid, or something who had to witness their parents get divorced feels about this movie. They probably a fucking wreck. I this I grew up with my grandma the entire life, my entire life. Mom wasn't really close with my daddy, lived next door to my mama. So I never had to worry about no marriage or anything like that. And I never, I don't know nothing about no damn marriage, households, and everybody in the whole happy family and shit. But the people who have, this movie probably is going to crush them. I, I don't even know if I would advise anybody to watch it if, they, if they've been through something like that because this movie's going to bring out some terrible things because I'm watching it like, like I don't been through the shit. I was watching, I felt like I was. The, the kid Henry, I felt like him. I'm, I'm sad and shit. And plus, you get to see both sides. You get to see Nicole's side. You get to see Charlie's side. It's just like, you don't, at, and at some, at some point, you like, you count on one person's side, and then you, you remember something like, oh, that person did do this, and that just, that's just terrible. But then you get to, like, okay, you on this, like, this person's side. But then you get to see what they're doing to the whole, it's just fucked up. I'll tell you all this, dog. Real shit. And I ain't bullshit when I tell y'all this. I felt better walking out of Joker than I did after seeing this movie. I felt better seeing people murdered and riots in the street than I did after watching this movie. It like you people talk about how certain stuff makes them uncomfortable, but this movie movie made me very uncomfortable. In the ending, I swear, I wanted to punch my fucking TV, man. Cause I was I, I was I, I wasn't even angry. I was more or less sad and like I kind of felt like it was me. You know what I'm saying? 
And I can't tell you exactly why I think I thought I feel like it was me. You you gonna re relate to something in one way or another. But I kind of I maybe it's just it gets into your psyche, maybe stuff you was experienced. But like you gonna kind of you might relate to one of the characters. Me, I definitely did, and I just felt like it was me. And I was just like, this sucks. This feeling. I know this feeling. The emotion of um, a certain character. Like I said, I don't want to give nothing away. So, uh, the emotion a certain character was feeling at a certain point in time. And that, that they were emoting. It felt like it was me and I was in it. And I didn't like that. I don't like that feeling. But is the film great? You fucking right it is. The acting is great. The script is great. And it's just, it, you kind of hate it in, in ways because it's like, it's a real thing, you know? You It's not a Hollywood type thing. It's like, oh, they're going to spice it up for Hollywood. No, this is just real world shit and it's fucking uncomfortable as hell. It's like, I don't like this. I don't like this. I, I, I want to be happy right now, okay? I was, Think it for the film, like to do something like no, it's just like oh no. It, it did the look, I like the look of it too. I just some reason I just like films that have this certain look. I don't know what kind of camera frame it is or none of that, but it's, I just love the look of it. It's not that old, I don't know, super clear, super clear stuff. It's, it's I don't know, it's, 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 it's a different type of cinematic, you know what I'm saying? Even I'm watching it in my room on the TV, you know what I'm saying? It's still kind of like you know, a different kind of cinematic experience for me. Film's fantastic, man. The film is an A plus film. Great, that's my grade for it. But like, I don't like, I don't like what I felt after. I don't. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's. I can't like, I can't help but thinking like, I wish this ended different. That's the only thing I'm thinking. I feel like a kid because this the films is about a divorce. Like I felt like a kid, like. Why couldn't y'all like and you see it? You it's there, you just looking in people's eyes, you can tell the hurt and pain. Fuck this movie, man. I'm happy I got that out. I think that was good. Uh you guys, man, man, man. Go definitely check out Mary Store. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.